all right hello everyone shalom everybody peace of the lord to all of you i hope my voice came in good and clear uh, uh, today we have a better internet supposedly so i hope it's going to be good we hope so we will see uh, this is the first time we try it it's a new internet uh, uh, provider supposedly so we will see how good it is uh, and i hope my voice came in good to your side let me know please if you have any problem uh, today our topic is not like a normal topic, you know, usually we talk about it. Uh, but I will try to connect the dots for you how, and show you how Muslims really use you. Uh, even though you might think you don't, you are not being used by Muslims. And, you know, uh, you know, many they think Muslims are just a bunch of stupid people. They have, uh, uh, you know, they are just believing in flying carpet and uh, you know f fictions of stupid quran therefore they are just a bunch of stupid and uh, you know we are the smart people uh, because we are smart and they are stupid so we will not be used and abused uh, this is what people think right i mean you can think as you wish now i have to agree that islam is a stupid and muslim when they follow islam they are being stupid but muslims won't come to using you they are very smart and today i will show you you don't have to agree with me by the way i don't care who agree with me who don't that is the last of my worry uh, every day i even block people who donate to me you know i block them literally the second they start arguing with me uh, because if you argue with me and you are not donating i can say this person he is arguing with me uh, he's not asking for a turn but if you argue with me and you are donating I see it as, uh, you know what, uh, he is trying, oh, our internet is bad, again. Is it bad? Are we losing connection, guys? In this scenario, in this case, that must be, must be YouTube playing games with me. There's no way, you know. There's no way. Um. Uh, I don't know what's saying. How about Rumble? Is it uh, is it going fine? Yeah, something weird. Anyway, so if you argue with me and you are donating, I will take it as uh, this person because he think he is donating money. Uh, he is asking for a return, and I have to bend down for him. You know, like. Uh, as they say, follow the money. You know what I mean? Follow the money. Uh, uh, but almost every day, I, I block people who they are donating to me in the, the opposite. Uh, because those who donate to you, usually they, they want you to do things for them. And they think I am the same as the rest. And I'm mentioning this to, just to show you how, how, how money works. I pay you. Well, I pay you for what? What exactly would do for me you know like why i'm going to give you money uh, uh, usually uh, i mean nothing for free i mean you you give somebody money for what purpose uh, you have to do something in return so some they support because simply they agree with me and they like what i do some they support maybe they can influence me and i will show you some uh, example happen to everybody not only you know in my case uh, but I all, I'm always in alarm and about anything uh, to be sure that those things will never happen to me. Uh, here, I'm sure all of you you are you, you know you you know those faces very well. Uh, I don't know if you saw the news. Those are not bad guys, you know. Those are not bad guys. So don't think I'm speaking against them. Uh, but they found out that they've been, you know, seduced and tempted by money to join a company who I think it's called the Talent or Talented, something like this. The woman who founded the company, she claimed that she wanted to establish a company for conservative. Conservative. Nothing wrong with that, you know, I mean. So she brought those guys who they are very conservative and for sure they support Trump 
they are very famous when each one of them he goes in online he have like 20 25000 life view you know life not not I'm not talking about the one who watched later so they have a very big uh, influence channels they are just youtubers they are no nobody i mean they are not official they are, don't go on government they are just you know youtubers so she hired them and now the DOJ, which is supposedly uh, the Department of Justice, uh, which is obviously in the same time politically motivated, they found that those people are receiving a lot of money from Russia, but they do not know that this is money is coming from Russia. For every video, they make about a hundred thousand dollar for each one of them. For every video, imagine. So. Uh, uh, but they themselves do not know where the money is coming from. But shouldn't you ask yourself this question? I mean, why somebody want to pay me a hundred thousand dollars for a video? I mean, what I'm doing in that video, making gold and silver 2.0. The stunning story stemming from new indictments from the Department of Justice claiming that some very big right wing YouTube channels from Dave Rubin. Clickbait, Benny Johnson, Tim Pool, Lauren Southern, and others were on the take for $10 million of money originating from Russia that was laundered through various shell companies in order to disguise. So it turned to be that the one who uh, made them sign to join, join in that company, she used to work in RT, which is a Russian TV uh, agency, which is a form of intelligence. You know, I mean, those uh, government especially dictator government, they have their own intelligent agencies, not necessarily uh, they have to have a KGB uh, ID, they have a you know, journalist ID. So uh, Russia, they want Trump to win. Iran want Kamala to win. Russia, they cannot go to those people and say, hey, we want you to support Trump. So what they can do, they can provide money to, you know, motivate them more to work harder so the result, like it's an investment, you know, and the uh, uh, CIA do the same, USA do the same. They invest, they invest in around the world with many assets, those are assets, so they can control the outcome of election or economy or even cause revolution or disaster. You know, they do. This is not something new. It's not only Russia do that. This is every country in the world. They do that, especially if they have the capability of the money. So this is the conservative, and we will continue with the conservative for a little bit. This is Tucker Carlson. I call him Sucker Carlson. Sucker Carlson, he is a very conservative guy, according to many, many American, especially Christians. And they think he is the one who said the truth, and he is right, and you are wrong. I mean, who is going to listen to me? And for sure, they will listen to him. I call him Sucker Carson. This guy is an officially professional idiot. He go to Russia as an example, and then he go to the shopping mall, and he show you how Russia is a flourishing because there is food in the grocery store. I mean, who can beat that? Nobody. It grocery store. No products. No choices, shoddily made things, and it wasn't actually propaganda, it was real. And you can look up the pictures on the internet. So now he's talking about the time of the Soviet Union. So now Sakhar Carson, he want to show you that Russia today is not the same as the Soviet Union. If you want. So we thought it would be interesting to take a look at a contemporary, modern day, 2024 Russian grocery store, two years into sanctions. Apparently. Now, this TV is called the Young Turks. They are more stupid than Tucker Carlson. Supposedly, now they are attacking him, you know. Actually, I, I click at the video. I do not know that this is their, their channel. But as long as they are in the channel, those are more stupid than Tucker Carlson. Supposedly, they are opposing him, but in fact, they serve the same purpose. I will explain to you later. However, Tucker Carlson, he go inside the grocery store and he show you how cheap things is, what a hundred dollar will do, but what Sucker Carlson will not tell you, how much time it take a Russian person to make a hundred dollar. So a hundred dollar for someone like you is nothing, you idiot. 
You can go right now and check and you will find there is a video made by Russia, not by a stupid American going to Russia for vacation and sitting in five stars hotels and he make millions of dollars and then he go to shopping and he say, look how cheap it is. This is the stupidity which many people believe it. Sucker Carson is telling you that Russia is so cheap. But if your salary, you can type right now the income of Russian. Made, don't watch video made by propaganda who they are. Russian, 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 Russian video made by Russian citizen who speak English. They will show you that a retirement person who is a police, he don't even make $200 a month. Some teacher, their salary is $40 a month. They are retired. And then this idiot, he go and he buy a loaf of a bread and some wine. And he say, look, this wine costs $5. This is cheap. Well, they wear the same price in Walmart. But the difference is that in America, the poor one usually, he do an average of a 3,000 salary. So $5 compared to 3,000 salary is a huge difference from $5 compared to $200 salary. So Sekar Carson, he go to Russia because he want to show you that Russia is amazing. And then Putin, for sure, he use him because he's a useful idiot. And then the left, who they are against uh, uh, Sekar Carson, they are Sekar too. And I will show you how they, all of them at the end, they support the same thing. So this is Sekar Carson. Peace be upon him. This is a woman, her name is Kandanis. She is a very conservative, according to many stupid people. But the fact she is a scumbag, and she is a very, very, very anti-Christianity, anti-Jesus, anti-Bible. And I do not need to prove it to you. Her best man is a pimp. She fly all the way to show you how to be a man, to meet a pimp. And the pimp who will teach this Christian, and I quote, Christian lady, how to be a man man that's good and then this low trashy woman she claimed that she is the one who defend the christianity can then his own confront and rotate about christianity did she if i watch the video you will die laughing so anyway this woman many christian many i don't want to use the word christians because you can't be christian and stupid at the same time but sadly there is many they think she is a christian woman she said you know, Jesus is king. In fact, she's insulting Jesus. This is how dumb many Christians are. Jesus is king. This is a phrase used by the Roman to insult Jesus when he was on the cross. The Bible never said Jesus is king. Is king? What does that mean? I mean, the king of Jordan is a king. He's a scumbag. The king of England, he is a whore. I mean, what king? Jesus, the Bible says he is the king of kings, lord of lords. What she's saying, Jesus King, because she want to make himself that she is the one who defend Jesus. But in the same time, she's, you know, she should put for you the poison. All is about money. She fly all the way to Romania. The same as Sakar Carson. He fly all the way to Romania to meet with the pimp. And the purpose of that to tell you how to live your life. This is the purpose of those interview, right? I mean, they are they are they are showing you the 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 the, the wisdom, you know. So this is other face and then now we mentioned just conservative right I mean it's not we did not mention even any other liberals yet so those are the one who you call them conservative in fact they are asset of your enemy but what this had to do with this I mean how how trucker Carson supporting Islam doesn't make sense this is stupid to say how Kondan is supporting Islam this is stupid to say you know I mean this is this it doesn't doesn't work I mean come on what are you talking about but if you go check, you will find that liberals and conservative, they are doing the same job. Those are queer for Palestine. Queer for Palestine. Homo, homosexual, dragon, queen. They call her, I don't know, queen. <laughs> anyway, so they want to free Palestine. But those people themselves, if they go to Palestine, so-called Palestine, they will be killed immediately. If they go to any Islamic countries, they will be raped and killed. But how we can compare between those and Sakar Carson and Kandanis and Andrew Tate and, and I mean, supposedly there are two different faces, two different coins. You know, they, they are not the same, but the fact they are the same. In fact, they are serving one master. Putin, he is a friend of your enemies. So when I support Putin, 
I'm supporting Iran. I'm supporting Hamas. Am I lying? It's a fact. Putin, he supports Iran. He is the one actually who built the nuclear facility for them. Those Islamic regime, they don't even know how to make an oven. How about a nuclear facility? So he is the one who support Hamas. He is the one who support the Iranian regime. He is the one who support Hezbollah. Okay. Sekar Carson, he support Putin. Putin is a good guy. So he go in his program and he convince you as an American, stupid American, that when you support Putin, you are supporting the good guy. But the good guy Putin he is digging your grave. He is arming your enemy with nukes, weapon, training them, sending them to kill your children. It's reality. This vegetable, he is a whore. He's a pimp. He found himself isolated in the world. And then he want to claim, he want to clean himself. Like even I saw him protesting the insult to Jesus in the Olympic of France. Like, I mean, look who's talking. You insult Jesus every day, you just come back. I mean, this guy, he can't even say it one sentence without saying the F word. He used women, he abused women, he beat women, he raped women, he do all kinds of things women, and he make videos about it. And then this whore, the other whore, Kandana, she go in the, to, to do interview with him to learn morality and learn, etc. But all of them, they speak good about Putin. All of them, they speak good about Putin and they attack Israel. I'm just trying to connect the dot for you. All of them, those who call them conservative, they support Putin, who support Hamas, support Hezbollah, and they attack Israel. Now we are getting more close to see how things work. If you go and ask uh, Sakar Carson what he think about Israel, you will see the opinion is so, so ugly. Suddenly, we find ourselves that Sakar Carson underrates uh, this whore and queer for Palestine all in one side. And Putin all in one side. Are you getting my point? So in the appearance, they oppose each other. They attack each other. But the fact, they have one boss. Muslims. The one who get the benefit of all of this is the Muslims. And then you, because you are so smart, you think, oh, the Tucker Carlson, he is uh, he's just supporting Trump. In fact, he is not supporting Trump. This guy, he, he worship himself. He want to be, um, he, he do the opposite. Like, you know, like uh, uh, I have a cousin, he was driving in the highway. Uh, and then he heard in the radio, uh, mayday, mayday. There's an idiot driving in the highway in the wrong direction. My cousin, he look, he said to himself, <laughs> those stupid radio stations. You know, my cousin is an Arab like me. <laughs> stupid American. What? Only one? Say two, say three, say four, and driving in the opposite direction, say five, say 10, say 20, say 70. So my cousin is counting how many people driving in the wrong direction of the highway, but he did not notice that he is the one they are talking about him in the radio. He heard the radio. He listened to the radio. It says there is an idiot driving in the wrong direction. He was counting how many idiots. But it was him. And this is Tucker Carson. Tucker Carson, in order to be very known, he said, the op it doesn't matter what you say, he said the opposite. Like you say cake, he say shit. You say shit, he say cake. It's just to be very well known. It worked. But if you go and see the logic, you will see how stupid and how dummy and how fool are the one who believe such an idiot. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say to you, but if you understand or not, this is your business. You know, we don't have a high view because we are not, you know, we are not like the rest. And when I say we, I'm, I'm a person like Allah. I like to call myself we. And I know some people will say like, maybe this guy, he have an organization behind him. So what I'm trying to say to you that at the end of the day, the Muslims are the one who invest on those who you think 
they are your best. Qatar is investing hundreds of millions of dollars in the American media every day to drive the mood and the direction into something. They bribe even the FIFA. Even football is not football no more. Even Olympic is not Olympic no more. Their money is everywhere. And all of those, you will find that they are praised in the Middle East. How you, how they, why they praise you? You see, the, the second you see the Muslim community and the Muslim propaganda machine praising someone, that means he is bad. The second they say I'm bad, that means I am good. You will not find Muslims really against Drakkar Carson or Candanis or Andre Tate or all the stupid ones you support because simply they are working perfectly for your agenda. The same time, the left are the same. They are working for the Muslim agenda. They are useful idiots. So why, why, you know, why we will not use them? Look, they go, they strike, they cry in TV, they, you know, they make a riot, they, they, they you know, they free Palestine, you know, like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, they have a target in life now. Suddenly they have an aim beside their private part. So if you are a left, the Muslim got you. If you are conservative, the Muslim got you. It doesn't matter where you go, they got you. They recruit you, they make you work for them, and you think that Muslims are stupid. If Trump become a president, right away the Saudi, they will invest a lot of money on Trump. So me, myself, I'm gonna vote for Trump, but I don't have an option, do I have an option? I mean, if we don't vote, vote for Trump, I have to vote for Kamala. So let us say we have two donkeys, one he hit you in your balls, the other one hit you in your head. Which one? Both of them, they will be on. So you have no choice. And actually, this is how the game in America work, and this is how the Muslim, they use it. There's two donkeys, we invest in them. Once I spoke to a rich person without saying who is he, actually he's a relative. I said to him, why you donate to this person? I mean, he is donating to two guys. They oppose each other in the election. I said, why, why you do that? I mean, which one is your favorite? He said, what favorite? I'm a businessman. Whoever win, he will be in my pocket. Whoever win, he would be in my pocket. He donate to both. Because now he is comfortable. One of them is going to win. So I send a check here. I send a check there. And whoever win, I just but I gave money. Money is a trash for him. I mean, a lot of it. So I give money to two. Then one of them, he lost today, he might win next time. So he's still here, but in his memory, that I am the one who supports him. Even though a loser, he can be useful. Because he's an important figure anyway. So those people who have a mentality of investing money, they don't invest money for nothing. And the Muslims, they have a lot of money. They knew how to buy you. They know how to sell you. They know how to, bar you know, to, to, to bargain on you, and they put you in auction without you knowing. The Queen of England used to go every two weeks to the Middle East. To do what? To get money. Every gift, there are, there was this uh, royal family is, is bankrupt. They don't have money. They can't even pay for maintenance. So the Queen of England, she go to, uh, to, to the Gulf, to Emirat, to Bahrain, to Kuwait, and she received diamond and jewelry. You know, you can imagine what kind of gift they will give her. She go back home, she sell them. The Muslims, they betrayed the system everywhere. I mean, is it the so-called Diana, she, the whore? People call her princess. I mean, they call her princess, right? But she's a whore. I mean, she slept with everybody in town. And then she say, they say to you in TV, Princess Diana, a whore, every person in the town park his penis in her vagina. They call her princess. Isn't it the Muslim try to get her? So they can have a children from her, so they can the future king of England will be his brother is a Muslim. It's an investment. Jihad love, the daughter of Bill Gates, married to a Muslim, as a Muslim, which means now she is a Muslim. This is how they invest. So slowly, slowly you find yourself. If you go to the queer, they are they got you. You go to the conservative, they got you. You go to Microsoft, they got you. You go to Apple, they got you. It doesn't matter where you go, they got you. You go to sport, Muslims control it. You go to, uh, and they, by the way, and everybody says to you, the Jews, the Jews control everything. 
right? Just say the Jews, they will say to you, the Jews control everything. But the Jews cannot even protect their kids in New York. But the Jews, we have to blame the Jews for everything. So what I'm saying to you, the risk is very big. And because the fool is all over the place, I mean, how you can convince a fool that he is a fool? That is a mission impossible. Right? That is a mission impossible. Trump, he will win the election. He will stop praising Saudi Arabia. Why? Because by nature, this guy's a businessman. They knew his nature. They knew what he liked. He knew what he's about. So Trump, he don't care in Saudi Arabia. There's a Christian. There's no Christianity. There's no church. There's no freedom. There's no etc. Who care? But it's the other the same. You know, do even Hillary Clinton care? Do Hillary Clinton care? Do it? Uh, uh, you know, they don't care. Those are just images of coins. And we as a Christian, we have no choice. Like I, I will vote for Trump. I encourage everybody to vote for Trump, but not because he is the best. He's the best between the bad. So reality that the foolish Muslims, you call them fool, they are trying to take over you. They invite the Pope to any Muslim country so he can you know, make propaganda for Islam. Instead of doing something for the Christian there, he stopped praising Muhammad. He stopped praising the Muslims. He stopped praising the Quran. He kissed the Quran. They use it. They post the images everywhere. So they say, see, look, 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 look. Even the Pope is kissing the Quran. They invest in everything. In your side, you don't teach your children. You have no knowledge. You are ignorant. And you are struggling in your country. I vote for who? Kamala Balala or Trump the dumb? And wherever you go, you are doomed. Is my internet coming good, guys? Did I lose any uh, connection antenna? I hope not. Is the video coming good? All right. How, how many people get angry from me? I hope a lot. I like it when people get angry, you know, because that means I say something useful. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you if you if you make people happy, that means you said nothing. You know, you're jo you're just a joker. You uh, you know you said nothing. You offend nobody. You have to offend. Otherwise, you know this is what Jesus did. You know Jesus, he offended everybody because the truth hurt. The truth hurt. So what we do as a Christian then? Okay, so if we vote for Trump, we are in trouble. If we vote for Kamala, we are in trouble. So what we do? Well, we we have you know we have a choices. And the choices are limited sometimes. So for us as a Christians, Trump is the one who presents many good things, but he has a bad side. Then we have to pressure the person as a Christians. That's why we as a Christian, we have to unite and establish our own political pressure machine. And instead of being submissive, following a party, don't follow just Republican. What Republican? I mean, look, the, 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 the Republican we are talking about, nobody support Trump. The party itself is a party of, of, of mafia. I mean, uh, when when uh, when Kamala Lala, she came to the DNC to every president, every president who is Democrat came to support her. Clinton, the whore, the husband, the wife, Obama, Michelle Obama, you mama, every mama came to support Kamala. Trump, nobody support him. Where is the where is the Republican? Nobody. Where is the president? Where is George Bush? There's nobody. Because simply, it's at the end of the day, Republican never was a good party. It is establishment, the same as the Democrat. The difference between the Democrat and Republican, that, you know, like a Democrat as a mafia is more established, more organized, and more, more controlling. The Republican is just the rich, you know, like uh, they, they disappear the whole year, and then they meet one day in the election day. So the Democrats are very consistent in controlling. They control the media. They control Facebook. They control, you know, like late, until now, like uh, uh, until Elon Musk bought Twitter. I mean, even the president himself, they forbid him from talking. This is how powerful the Democrat. You see, when you see a president of USA, his account in YouTube blocked, his account in Twitter blocked, 
his account in Facebook suspended. This is telling you how powerful the Democrat is. They don't allow the president of the country to talk to his people. I mean, he is the president. Are you with me? So they have a very powerful controlling machine. And the Muslims, when they invest, they look who is the options. Like Hezbollah now. Hezbollah, if we ask Hassan Nasrallah, this filthy idiot, who you like to win the election, he would say to you right away, Kamala. Because Trump, the first thing he would do, we know what he would do. He will suffocate Hezbollah. And that's what makes Saudi Arabia like Trump to win because he is suffocating the enemy. But Saudi Arabia is our enemy, enemy too. However, Saudi Arabia is like the new Saudi Arabia now is changing. It's not the same as before. It's not like Al-Qaeda and ISIS, no. So Saudi Arabia as evil country is way better now than before. So I will take Saudi Arabia one million times more than Hezbollah and Iran. Uh, you are voting for Kamala Rose? Okay, Rose, do you like to call me and tell me why you are voting for Kamala? Rose, she said, I love you, Christian Prince. That is not, not nice to say to me, by the way. I don't like women to say I love you. I believe it's a bribe, you know. It's like saying to me, you know, you know how you bet a dog? Do you know how you bet a dog? Make him relax or a cat? You put your, you, you put your fingers under his, uh, 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 his neck and you tickle it and then the dog he sleep, you know? So for me, when, when somebody says to you, I love you, CP, but I don't agree with you, that is a bribe. You're trying to tickle me and says, oh, okay, you know what? Let us say that maybe we can change this guy's mind by saying to him, we love you. But in the same time, you know what? You're an idiot. Do you like to call me, Rose? You're welcome. I, I will speak to you nicely, but natural way, you know, like the way I am. You know, don't expect me to say, I'm not uh, sugarcoating things. I say things as it is. So if you like to call me and try to pet me, go ahead. Give it a try. There's no way a smart individual. I don't care who you are married to, who rose. Did I ask you about your single statues now? But there's no way a smart individual claimed to be a Christian will vote for someone support homosexuality, changing gender of kids, teaching children how to put your fingers in your anus, and yet you claim to be a Christian. I mean, what is the Christian about you? Just saying I love Jesus? That is? That's all what you know about Christianity? How in the world anyone want to support such a scumbag party? You must be in drugs. Do you support bringing drag queen to your children in your church? Because you are a Christian, you love everybody? I don't. So don't give me this garbage. I know why people hate me. Guys, how many of you hate me? Be honest. <laughs> you see, let us see by the end of the video today if, if YouTube will keep my channel. Uh, let us see. Uh, anyway, guys, if you, in case you, you, if I, if I lose my channel, uh, which is possible anytime, you know, because you know, you know the thing, you know. You know oh, hold on, I have a call. Who, what? No way. Kitham Red. First of all, I am going to vote for Kamala Harris. Is that act? Why you are voting for Kamala Harris? I have give you ten reason. Ten reason, not only one. Ten exactly. Okay, give me reason one number one. Number one reason, he supported Islam. Oh, okay. Number two reason. He support Islam. Oh, okay, this is the second one. Number three reason to support Islam. Abdul, this is the same reason you kept repeating them. Get them friends. It doesn't matter. All roads take to Rome. What? All roads take to Rome. So, do you uh, do you have do you have a mental issue to to vote for Kamala? But anyway, uh, people here, human, human being, human being. You, know, you you see smart. You see uh, low IQ. You see. I don't know what the word IQ mean. Even it's, uh, even the word IQ sounds stupid for me. But anyway, but. When you say you want to vote for Kamala, who is the, obviously she is, she have a lack of intellect and intelligence. And then we find that Hezbollah want to vote for Kamala. And we find that Iran want to vote for Kamala and Hamas want Kamala. Obviously all of you are in the same line. Are you, do you understand what I'm saying? Tell me who your friends, I will tell you who you are. <laughs> are you with me guys? Tell me who is your friends, I will tell you who you are. If my friends are a bunch of drug dealers, well, obviously I'm a drug dealer too. If my friend is Andrew Tate, that's mean, but that may make me a pimp. 
Is that true? It is because everyone goes to his alike. Please goes to shit and bees go to flower. Why it's hard to understand? It is the nature. Never change. Would something stink outside in two seconds, you will find a hundred fly from where they came. You cannot even imagine. You put a flower, it's going to take some time for the bees to find it. But there are bees. You will not find the flies over the flower. You will find bees. So there is an insect make honey, and there is insect eat shit. Which one is you? You choose. You can be either. You know. You make a choice. So for for me, I don't sugarcoat stupidity. How many of you guys heard me speaking against Trump many times? I do, right? I don't I don't sugarcoat anybody. I vote for Trump, I support Trump, I will vote for Trump tomorrow. I will vote for Trump every day over anyone in the Democratic Party. But doesn't mean that Trump is always right and we go blind with him. No, no. We say the truth as it is. Right? Do you have a friends? I killed them all from laughing. <laughs> Uh, you know, like uh, if I sit with the friends, they say they might say to me, "When your life is more funny than you are," I said, "Because the topic, the topic, you know, give me the topic, the topic. If my topic about food, I, I would be funny about what? I mean, you have to give me a topic. You have to give me. You have to tickle my brain. Can Castanovol be uh, uh, retaken? Why not? The Israeli they lost their land for three thousand years, my friend. They took it back." We will take it. You take it as long as you teach your kids that we have to take it back. But if you decide to give up, then you give up. When you have, you have a right and you keep seeking it, you will never lose it. You will have it. And time doesn't matter. For if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? I mean to that. Do we have any question? So do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? They invest in everybody, even in those who you think they are conservative. If I say to you right now, who is the one uh, they prefer more? Uh, uh, you know, Hezbollah. They prefer who? Trump or Kamala? I, I would say to you, Kamala, for sure. Every country in the world invests for their own benefit. So when when uh, when uh, uh, Putin he prefer that Trump will win, not because he loves Trump. In fact, I assure you that he don't like him at all. But Trump already speaking up against not to support Ukraine in the way like it's going now. He will change the way. He's more practical. So he's hoping if Trump he won the election. He will not give money to, to Ukraine as now. But you never know. Trump is a very uh, uh, unpredicted person. He might change his mind. And he in, in the moment, like they ask him a question, how can you change your position? He said, at that time I was a president. Now I am not president. So when he is a president, he might screw Putin. If he find that this is for the benefit of America. So to understand you know, what is called politics is not just... A stand like you know he stand in a place he will not take he will not change his mind this is politics in politics you can friend your enemy tomorrow like the enemy of my enemy is my friend so you will find now that Israel Israel the Jewish state is doing their best to friend with Emirat and Emirat doing their best to friend with Israel against who against the Muslim Iran but those are enemies well the enemy of my enemy is my friend. This is what politics is about. It's not about ethic. Ethic is not have not have a nice standpoint in 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 a, in, a, in a state business. Ethic is the last thing you can think about. It's not about because Putin is bad, Ukraine is good. They support the, no. This is not their the agenda. The agenda of uh, of the American now is to support Ukraine. Not because they <laughs> actually they are the one who made Ukraine in trouble. Those. Democrat, they are the one who invited Putin to attack Ukraine. The whole point is the war industry 
and they have a lot of shares in it. You can imagine how much uh, uh, Kamala Harris and those politicians, the Democratic one, are making money from their shares of Lockheed and all those companies. Our warehouse is out of an emission. You will notice that the Democrats, they don't want Ukraine to lose the war, but they don't want Ukraine to, do, to win the war. They want the war to keep going, to make more money. The appearance is they are supporting, but reality, they are demolishing two countries in the same time. It's the devil game. So you have to see it farther than what you see in the news, farther what you see in TV. They claim that they are supporting Ukraine because they are ethical. They are far from ethical. I mean, those Democrats, they are killing their own citizen. They are destroying their country. They don't have a country. Those are hippies. You know, hippies, they don't have nationality. They are against nationalistic. Like, if you are a nationalist, they consider you a fascist. Are you with me? If you say I'm an American, you have an American flag in your in your in your front, you are, you are a fascist for them. They want the, the gay flag. So they have a different idea of country. What is country? What is government? What is election? Are you with me? Who agree with me? He don't. What happened to Rose? She's still here? Rose, do you still love me? Sister Rose, do you still love me? Uh, somebody is a Muslim, I guess. He is saying to me, CP is gay and Islamophobia. Abdul, you're a prophet. He wear women's skirt. He pee like a woman. Men, they kiss and down his belly. And the guy, he says, oh, prophet of Allah, this is how I like it. You Muslims keep talking about how sexy his legs and his ass and how how long his eyelashes. And then you talk about homosexual. And then your prophet, he promised you a market and a bazaar have images of men and women. If you like the image, you enter it and you effort. Are you there, Abdul? Who is the gay? Huh? Who is the gay? A person who come to the caliphate, he said to him, we are tempted by a gay. Huh? How he is tempted by the gay, unless they are gays. So a bunch of Abdul are coming to the caliphate. Look how decent they are. They are against gay. They don't like gays. And then what? They are tempted by a gay because he bent over showing them his butt. But the second you read it carefully, you will notice that there must be a bunch of gays because... Why in the world you are being tempted by an ass of a man? Unless you are an asshole. So the complaint itself is exposing you Muslims. The first, the, 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 the gay imam is existing in Islam since the beginning of Islam. We as a Christians, if somebody he claimed to be a gay and imam or a priest, this is not, this is not a church. We know what the Bible says. So, but if you go here, actually, you see, you type the word gay in, you know, all of those are living in your prophet house. In fact, one, uh, 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 one person, he advised Aisha to marry her, her brother to a gay. Look, look at the description in front of you. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, uh, in this hadith as an example, you will see a bunch of Muslims coming to Uthman, but this is not the ketchup boy, this is a different Uthman. Uh, complaining to him is the caliphate. They are saying, hold on, you know what? We have a, a, a man who is homo. He never round ass. May Allah ask you, Muslims, how, how, uh, how come you don't have describing description for it? And then look what have been failing to you. What have been failing to him? We led a salat, the prayer, by a leader of fitna. Fitna, what fitna mean? This is the Muslim translation, not mine. Trial affliction etc and etc is the treasure you can because you can imagine anything and we are afraid of being sinful following him or well, what happened affliction trial etc come on Uthman said salat salat brother salat prayer is the best of all deeds so one of people you know do good deed do good deed Doesn't matter. he just told you the guy the leader of the prayer is a gay what salat you idiot and then Abdul the caliphate he continued 
And then he says, avoid, avoid the bad deed. A Zohri, which is coming, he's the leader who coming to complain with them. He, like the, he, grew, he brought a group of Muslims to complain. He said, in our opinion, we should not offer salat behind an effeminate person unless there is no alternative. And you are talking about gays. Potato. Anyway, let it go, let it go. Shall we unburden? You know, we can unburden. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. Yeah. You know, you know. what can be. Yeah. Unburdened yeah. by what has been. There are those who. I mean, the Muslim would die to have such an idiot ruling America. This, this is the ones that will destroy the country. This is the perfect one for Putin. I don't know even why Putin will, will favor Trump except just for the war of Ukraine. But this is the women who will make America shish kebab. <laughs> she will go to Putin. She will negotiate with him about unburden. Unable. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. You know? And you know, uh, Kamala Harris, she found that 200 million Americans, 220 million Americans died because of COVID. How many? How many? <laughs> Are you sure? 220 million? Really? Seriously? I mean, the whole country is 300 million. And she, like, she repeated, like, in many not only one place. Oh boy. <laughs> President Kamala Harris. Let us hear all done. Just to give you an idea who those are voting for. And now why the Muslims in Iran and Michigan they are dying to have her uh, uh, you know as the president. Yeah, <laughs> let us see. Commercial. Yeah, here we go. Smash subscribe, love ya. So the United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. It turned to be that our friend is North Korea, not South America, it's South Korea. And it is an alliance that is strong and enduring. <laughs> we are in the midst of a public health epidemic that has taken the lives of over 220 million Americans in just the last several months. <laughs> I better change it. Anyway, you can watch those things, you know. I mean, this is what they are voting for. And you say to them, like, and Rose, she said to you, Christian Prince, I love you, but I'm voting for Kamala. Rose, may Allah bless you, sister. You must, your brain must be blessed by Allah. Because you have a special features. You can see what we cannot see. You can burden what cannot be burdened. What has been? What has been? That is Joe Biden. Can we burden him? No, we, we throw him in the in under the bus. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm not going to keep you long, but I'm glad we did not lose the internet, even though supposedly internet is better today. But look like it's working. <clears throat> it's fine. Uh, do we have any any uh, anyone when I oppose me? Anyone when I oppose me, I can take your call. Only if you oppose me. If you agree with me, I don't want it. Anyone? Because I cannot keep going, you know, 220 million died in, in COVID. Kamala, she reported for us. She is the vice president. She is responsible for what she said. This is official, brothers. 220 million only. Only. We did it big. We did it, Joe. I mean, is this guy even alive? So what I'm trying to say to you, you need to see the vision of things happening way different from the way you see it usually because those people they invest their money in your government they are involved in your stadium in your sport in your commercial many they go speak in public 
you do not know that they are sponsored by the devil without even knowing they, they themselves maybe they didn't even know many of them didn't know like those guys but always I say like how in the world you do not know I mean okay you do not know who is sending the money but shouldn't you ask who in the world when I give you a hundred thousand dollars for making a video each time you make a video isn't it fishy what do you do exactly what is the price test about your video to get a hundred thousand dollars for a video millions you know every year and this is not to mention how much money donation they receive from YouTube. Shouldn't they ask themselves, why this company is paying me $100,000 for a video? I will go and make a video every five minutes then. So greed, greed is how they invest, they use. Every human being, mostly, they have a greed, they worship money. Nobody says where the money is coming from. He wants the money. He see the money, he go blind. So they will use you, they will abuse you. And even though you think you are doing a good work and you have nothing to do with them, you might find later that the one is supporting you is the devil. Because at that moment, they want you, they need you. What do you think about Rabbi Shalomi trying to take down Candace Owens? Uh, first of all, I did not watch it because I believe both of them are a bunch of, you know, piece of shit. The rabbi is not a rabbi. He's a scumbag liar. And her, she is no better. Like he is the guy who said Islam is beautiful, right? So this is, how we, why you call him a rabbi? How you call somebody a rabbi? He don't even know how to quote the Bible. <laughs> I mean, Rabbi, imagine I say Rabbi Trump. What's wrong with people? A debate, this is a debate. This is just a bunch of kids. They put them in TV and they don't, you know, they, none of them is saying anything real. And the foolish ones is the one who get excited for watching a match between who? A woman with high heels and a guy who called himself Rabbi. But none of them knows how to quote the Bible. None of them knows even what they are talking about. None of them is religious. None of them. A true religious rabbi, he will not say Islam is beautiful. I mean, the guy, the dummy Muhammad, he killed your people, you idiot. Hamas just raped hundreds of your women and they tortured them and they destroy your, your houses and burn them and every Muslim dream to kill you. And then you say Islam is beautiful. But this is why he's a rabbi, because he's come back. Those are rabbis, are the rabbis of the synagogue of Satan. The true rabbis will never say that. The true rabbi will say the Muslims and Muhammad are not our friends. This is because this is reality. For we know what they are about. We know what they did to, 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 to the Jews. We know what through centuries and centuries. Even the stupid Quran itself says you cannot be, you cannot take a Christian and Jews as a friends. So when a rabbi he go, he claimed to be a rabbi, and then oh, like this guy to weave a singer, you know. I mean, who is the fool? So, but I noticed that you people are just, uh, uh, you know, you, you are, you like, you like to, uh, to watch, uh, let us say, some action. You know, two people are screaming at each other, and who was right and who was wrong. But in reality, there's no debate. What about this? Can Danis take a call from from me for five minutes to question how smart she is? You will see how she collapse. She will, she will cry like a puppy. She's antichrist. She's a businesswoman. She used the Jews all her career to be famous. All her life, she is in the shoes of the Jews. Prove me wrong. Defending Israel. Overnight, she switched. Why? Go watch the video. I expose her. She said it clearly. The things are changing. Look at the street. The generation, the new generation are against Israel. So she switched because the marketing changed. Are you with me? The market it change. Those are people doing business. If the market is Islam and the market is against the Jews and the market now is those hippies, I will switch with them. So they hate Israel. She switch. 
But this woman, she prays Israel all the time. And Israel never changed. It's the same, the same Israel. The war is there. The so-called Hamas are there. When she was praising Israel, Hamas was there. When she was praising Israel, Hezbollah was there. When she was praising Israel, those you call them Palestinian are there. So what happened? It's the marketing. They don't have a standpoint. They have a stand money. It is all about money. All right? And if you are a fool, you believe them, you know. If you are a fool. Uh, we will take calls if anyone want to talk to me, you know. Uh, but don't tell me I love you. And I, I have a warning, by the way, for women. Never send me an email saying to me, I love you, CP. I will block you. Never have a conversation with me saying I love you. This is just a warning. Say I hate you, I will read it. You say I love you, I don't. Get out of here. Any Abdul? Rose, she is saying, are you guys a Christians? I mean, insult come as second nature of you guys. Rose, I don't know, maybe you did not hear Jesus saying, you sons of serpent. Is that the same Jesus you worship? So Rose, she never heard Jesus insulting. Jesus' speech is all of it is insulting. He called the Jews, rabbi, hypocrite, liars, deceivers, serpents. But Rose, she thinks Jesus was a hippie. He go in the street and he say, give me a hug. Give me a hug, give me a hug, I'm Jesus. This is not Jesus. Rose, why you don't call me and show me that insult is against the Bible? I want to see it. When Jesus says, love your enemy, he's talking about people like us in the street, you know, don't hate each other. But Jesus never said, love the wicked. Isn't it the Bible says, peace for those who love peace and no peace for the wicked? If we go right now in the Bible and we type in search engine the word wicked, we will see it all over the place. Okay, is wicked insult? Rose, is the word wicked insult? Why did Jesus insult CP for poetics? Yes, for poetics. Only foolish people do not know that poetics is religion. Why the rabbis, they want Jesus to be in the cross? Poetics, their money, their business. So the foolish you, you think poetics is far away. Poetics is your life. The governor, he control you. He dictate to you what to eat, what to say, what not to say. This is poetics, but this is religion. When they go to school and teach your kids to have sexual relationship and putting your fingers in your anus. Is that politics? Yes, it is. Their politics and their agenda is to destroy your belief. But you are a fool. You think Jesus only exists in the church. But Jesus never preached in a church, only once actually in synagogue. The rest is in the street. Is that correct? So those false Christians, they think that Jesus is a hippie. He's like Sad Guru, you know, making money, collecting donation. Like you talk to Sad, Sad Guru, he make a speech about accepting it. And he said, if you don't accept somebody's opinion against you, that means you are not self-confident. I make a video about him. 15 minutes after, Sad Guru reported my video to YouTube. <laughs> 15 minutes after, I was surprised how fast Sad guru who teach people how to accept each other. You know, the guru, the love guru. I made the video showing everybody how stupid, how contradict himself he is. 15, not even 15 minutes, I received an email from, uh, uh, from YouTube saying your video is being taken down. But the guy, I was just made a video about accepting each other. The, the video topic is about accepting each other. If somebody don't agree with you, why you get upset? <laughs> so my friend don't follow those funny silly so-called they call themselves Christian but in reality they are not they think that politics have nothing to do with Jesus it's all about Jesus their politics is to take churches to close churches to take the Bible to teach to do do your your kids 
to make them homosexual, to make them forget about Jesus, to curse Jesus, to say the F word to Jesus. Even their movies is about Jesus. They cannot make a movie without saying the F word to Jesus. Don't you know the plan? The plan is to make every American citizen, everyone who watch a movie say the F word to Jesus. Otherwise, ask yourself, what a movie have to do with cursing Jesus? What two people arguing about, about drugs, people they are fighting about drugs, a whore she's speaking to somebody, a whore having sex, she insult Jesus. What does Jesus have to do with the movie? They love to insult Jesus. And the foolish show you think this has happened, it's, it's just a conversation. No, it's a plan, long-term plan, to, dem, you know, to, 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 to make your children demon, demonize. So you don't have good children, you have a bunch of shooters, drugs, addict, dummy, junkie, zombie, this is their plan. So when the Christian they say we have nothing to do with politics, and then those people they take over, why you cry if your children come back home says, "Mom, I want to be," and she have a she is a five years old girl and she is holding a flag of how much she don't even know what the flag mean. Why you cry? In fact, I say to you, the Christian who don't insult, he is no Christian. Are you with me? The Christian who does not insult, he never read the Bible, he do not know a single word of it, and he is no Christian. This is not what Jesus... If I, if I, if I put for you now tons of verses from the Bible, you will, you will die at your stupidity saying, no, we should not insult. Yeah, you know, they say to you, Jesus, don't say, don't judge, so you will be that. No, Jesus not says is this. Jesus says clearly to judge, but he's saying to you, don't decide who will go to hell, who's not. Don't play God. But Jesus himself, he said, judge. He said, you shall know them from their fruits. Correct? Do you agree? We have to examine every one fruit, no exception. In fact, we start with Jesus himself. Why I believe in Jesus? Because I examine his fruit. He commanded me to do so. Start with him. He speak about himself, witnessing for himself. What is the, what, how he can witness to himself? You cannot witness to yourself. But his fruit will witness for him. He said to them, who of you can prove me a sinner? Nobody was able to open his mouth. His fruit talk. So anyway, I maybe I gave you a headache, and nobody who opposed me would like to call me. I don't know why. I'm very disappointed, you know. If I am just a person who do not know what he's talking about, I'm sure I will have a long line of people who want to prove me wrong. Uh, but they are intimidated. CB for president, man, I will I will I will cause a chaos in, in two in two seconds. Because I don't sugarcoat, I say things as it is. I go on TV, I say Muhammad is a scumbag. And whoever says Islam is a good, nice religion is a liar. And Democrats are doomed. They are a bunch of weirdo, literally. And I can prove it in two seconds. And then imagine after this interview what will happen. Right? I don't sugarcoat things. You know, once I was uh, debating with women, she is from... Uh, uh, I think she was Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't know. I forgot. And then her husband is sitting next to her. They, they do accounting. You know, they are both accountant. And then she said to me, please, I respect your faith. I said, I don't respect your faith. You should see their faces, you know. They look at me like, what? I said, I don't respect your faith. Why I respect your faith? I'm here to prove that your faith is a stupid, a satanic. And, it, and then you, should we exchange now? I respect your faith and I respect your faith. Which, are you stupid? The women, her hands start shaking. Her husband, he make poo-poo in his pant because they thought maybe I would jump on them. But I was just talking. I'm not going to do anything. But this is how hypocrite they are. So we are debating to prove to you that you are stupid and you are following Satan. And then you say to me, I respect your faith. How stupid is that statement? So what we are debating about? If you respect my faith, that means my faith is good. But if you respect my faith because my faith is bad, that means you are an evil. 
Are you with me? <laughs> and you will see those hypocrites. They say, I respect your belief. I don't respect your belief. Why I don't respect your belief? Either you are wrong and I'm right or the opposite. Say to me, I respect you being wrong. That's stupid. Oh, I respect your foolishness. Oh, okay. It makes sense. And then you will find a, a, a school and teacher. He teach your kids. We have to be open-minded. Hey, by the way, what is the phone number of your wife? And when you will not be home? Oh, you know what? You're open-minded. Even if you came home, who care? Open-minded? What does that mean? They teach you to be open-minded. What the heck is that? So if, some, if you are walking in the street and somebody put his hand over your wife's butt, are you open-minded for that? He's, he like it, you know? Charity. Be charitable. Sheer, sheer. Communist. Why you want to have one butt, beautiful butt for yourself? Why are you being selfish? Share it. Like Muhammad, he says, uh, a breastfeeding for adult. A Muslim woman, she gave her breast to anyone. Community service. Open-minded, open-minded. You will see how many people, they use those words. But, but they don't think, you know, they don't think how stupid those words are. What open-minded mean? Why you have a door in your in your apartment? Why you have a lock? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a Muslim. He's asking me, a Christian prince, when you are going to find a wife? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the problem is, uh, in, uh, do you Muslims close the website for six years old wife? I wanted to sign there to follow the steps of Prophet Muhammad. It's not allowed in America, six years old wife. You say to me, yeah, yeah you say to me, she is mature. According to Muslims, Aisha, she was engaged at the age of four. <laughs> this girl, at the age of four, she was touching herself. And her nipples was getting hard. At the age of four, brothers and sisters. And the Abdul is asking me when you are going to get a wife. What wife? I convert to Islam, I can get four in the same moment. Second, two minutes after I finish with them, I divorce them. You Muslim believe in wives since when? Women for you are the same as shoes. Is a bike. You ride her today. Somebody else will ride her tomorrow. Anyway, Abdul is worried about me getting married. Don't worry. Don't worry, Abdul. That is the easiest thing to do. The hardest is divorce. <laughs> Once I was uh, I was in the Philippines. I was going there to do a seminar, and there's a I was eating in a uh, McDonald's, you know, and then uh, a section of McDonald's they rented for a birthday party. So the guy, he's a photographer, he started giving cards. He came to me, he said, sir, uh, you know how Filipino talk, if you have any, uh, uh, like, uh, occasion, I said, like, what? He says, like, uh, birthday, wedding. So, so I asked him, do you do divorce? He said, what? He said, do you do, like, divorce occasion? People, they look at me, everybody look at me. <laughs> but, you know, but the funny is, you marry in one day, you divorce in 10 years. It's the hardest thing to do. So why you don't celebrate in the divorce day party? You know, the, 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 the wedding party is easy. So anyway, people are weird. You know, like, don't you do, do you do funerals? What? <laughs> he mentioned to me a birthday. I never celebrate birthday. I asked my mom which day I was born. She said, I don't know. Oh, but I know it was a bad day. Since then, I don't ask. You know, that's it. It's a bad day. So uh, uh, birthday, uh, wedding, uh, you know, I mean, what is that for? Nobody, nobody document divorce. Anyway, uh -uh. do we have any uh, anyone who opposed me want to join? Is Rose is still there? That's why I will never vote for Trump. Rose, you did not tell us why. Guys, look what Rose she said. That's why I will never vote for Trump. I'm looking between between the why and before it. I see nothing. Rose, you should say why before you say that's why. You are talking like Kamala Harris now. And burden, but what a burden. I think Rose is the kind of lady, she say words in her head, and then she type the end of the sentence in the, ta in the chat. And then she say, this is why I don't vote for Trump. Uh, and now supposedly I will be able to, do, to read your mind. That's uh, so good. Anyway, it is the internet. No one knows you are talking to. So, are we done? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Anyone disagree?
So today I was speaking about everybody. I spoke about Sakar Carson. I was I spoke about Andrew Tates, and his friend Candana. Uh, what her name? Candana. Candace. 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 She is so strong, man. She is the one who will make any man muted in a second by saying gibberish, stupid stuff. But you know, if you are a fool, anyone can fool you. Is that correct? My birthday today? It's not a bad day today, is it? Until not until now nothing happened. If something bad happened, that means it's my birthday. <laughs> I never celebrated birthday, by the way, because I see it something stupid. I know many of you like it. I'm not being rude, but even if I rude, who care? But I find that birthday celebration is stupid. I mean, celebrate what exactly? I mean, what what exactly you celebrate? People should celebrate you, not the opposite. So people, they are, hey guys, you want to come? It's my birthday. They are, what about you? Be a great person, a great king a great leader and then even after you die people celebrate you because you were wonderful but somebody celebrating and bring me a gift did you give me a gift this is this is silly all right <clears throat> anyway i'm not trying to insult you but you can say i'm trying to insult you but uh, don't take me wrong i don't like to insult you but i love it uh so anyone from those who uh, disagree with me would like to join me? Until now, I see nobody. I notice when I talk about protest, people don't like it, which is good. I mean, who cares if you like it or not? I speak about whatever I like. No, birthday, especially for women, is not a, is not a good thing. I mean, women, they hate they, they, to get older and then they celebrate birthday. What's wrong with you? Why you do that? And then you see a woman, she is 50, she put one candle. What happened to the 50? 49 is missing. You know? Actually, yesterday I saw in the coffee shop a woman, and, and uh, uh, there is a guy with her. It's a cute, I mean, maybe his uh, husband. or It's nice. So he have a little cake and he have one candle. Why do you put all the candles? Huh? Economy. I mean, why would I spend too much for candles? And if we put all of them, they will show how old she is, and women will not like it. So my mom, she's 17, 17, she never grow. Her mom, her mom, she cursed her in Arabic when she was young, 17. She told her, may God cut your age. And since then she's 17. Anyway, do we have anyone disagree? Do we have anyone agree? You guys are like, you must be Middle Eastern, all of you, don't you? Nobody there to agree, nobody there to disagree. Because if the president say, what? You are doomed. <laughs> like they vote in the Iraqi parliament for Saddam Hussein. Everybody has put his, his hand up. But their hand is up since the last session of the parliament. From the last year, who dare to put it down? Saddam Hussein is asking for a vote. Do you babble? I don't know what does that mean. Speak to me in English. Anyone disagree? Want to join me? Nobody? We are out of options? Is the voice coming good to you guys? Is it, is it good? I was worried about the internet will not be good. But it looked like it's going fine until now. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you very much. I know you guys, you, you hate my voice. Uh, who is a person who want to vote for Democrat when I would like to join me? I'm really interested to, to, to hear you. But don't fart. And don't take off your clothes. This is the only condition. Or else she said I disagree with Kamala in abortion and same-sex marriage, but disagree with Trump 80% still voting for her. Really? So you are a Christian who favor killing babies. Rose, she is a conservative Christian. She support, she don't support Kamala Harris for abortion. So she is, she is throwing her faith under the bus 
voting for someone when I kill babies. Yeah, you must be a very good Christian. God will judge you. Because when you vote for a party approving killing babies and murdering babies, you are a murderer. Right? If I vote now for Hamas, but I did not join Hamas, but that is exactly make you Hamas. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> and what the what the Trump he is, what he is bad about? They made him racist. I am not a blonde American. It's true that I'm blonde, black, African American from Japan, but they make him racist. What is racist about him? They make him demon. I mean, what he did? Oh, he, do you know that woman? She accused him that he raped her. Anyone can accuse anyone. How come Billy Clinton? They invited him to the DNC to make a speech, and this guy was having boom boom in the office, and he took a false oath in the office. She should be in jail. What about Hillary Clinton, a demon who take collect donation from every nation around the world, especially Muslims? So you are stupid. You are voting for the rich elite mafia. You love my voice? Wait until I sing. You know? Did you hear about the building collapse in Egypt? I was singing there. You know, like I was reading Quran, and then when I read Quran, always I get inspired. So I was saying to myself after I read that Prophet Muhammad he found out where the blue sky is coming from because the color of a blue azure mountain surrounding the earth. And I was singing like, Oh mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. The mount, man, the building right away starts shaking, you know. And Kamala was shaking too. You know, I don't know what she was saying, but she was burning stuff, you know, like, uh, you know, the thing, the passage of time, you know, the passage of time. I mean, this, this Kamala, she can be the best philosopher because nobody knows what she's talking about. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Any, uh, until now, zero people oppose me? Why? Are you guys afraid? What's wrong with you? Hey, Rose, come on. What, Rose, why you don't ask your husband to call me? Seriously, forget you about yourself talking to me. I know that's, you, you may be afraid. What about your husband? Let your husband talk to me before he divorce you. Because as soon as soon, he noticed that you are voting for Kamala Lala. And then he himself is voting for Kamala Lala. And then you lose your house. And you cannot afford your mortgage. And you cannot buy grocery. And you cannot buy gas. He will divorce you and he will, will divorce him. I mean, how in the world anyone will vote for, for, for someone will make your, your life help? Did you go to the grocery store? And Kamala, by the way, she speak about how expensive things is. So who will make it expensive? You are in the office for four years. <laughs> we know, we know it's expensive. We know, you know. <laughs> like, you know, they talk about it as if they are not in charge. Like, what the heck? <laughs> like, you know the thing? <laughs> so she think by talking about it, people forgot that she is the one who made it expensive. Even in her interview with this, with, with with the with the CNN, it was CNN. I forgot CNN. Yeah, they they make it life. They would life. They lie. Even there, she said the 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 CNN. She told her uh, in the time of uh, before you become president, vice president, in the time of Trump, food was cheap. They said that in there. <laughs> all right. All right. Common sense, man. Those people, they lost their common sense. They want to vote for someone, want to make their life hell. I reject your four fussy. You know, you know what, Rose? There's something I want to tell you. My English is not good. I honestly, I do not know what four fussy means. Uh, guys, can somebody tell me what four fussy mean? Four fussy? Is that like coming from fantasy? Hold on, let me search in Google what four fussy mean. Oh, this is a prophecy, prophecy. Oh, I was wondering, what is for fussing? I am prophesying now? I mean, the grocery store, 
It's there. You don't need to prophesy. Guys, I'm prophesying the prices will go crazy. Oh, no, no. Maybe she's talking about he will she get divorced. Listen, I will tell you another prophecy to prove that I can to you. I can do prophecy. Trump, he will win the election in 2016. How you can beat that? I'm not prophesying to you. You're just being a fool. Those people, they will make your life hell. They are talking about what happened in the last four years as if they've never been there. But they are the one in charge. Who made the border bad? Not us. Who? Who? Uh, the Trump. Trump. Who? What? Trump, he built the wall. You took the wall down. Who built? Who, who bring the gangs? Uh, not us. Who in charge of the border? Uh, not us. Not us. Look, who's in charge? Taliban? Those people, they have no brain. They have no brain. And don't give me English words, I don't know. You know I'm not much educated. My first language, by the way, uh, Muslims, what is my first language? Muslim, they make videos, says Christian prince do not know Arabic. Like, what the heck? So what is my language? Chinese? I have to agree, like, you know, Chinese, I speak Chinese. In fact, Bruce Lee, you know Bruce Lee? You know, his real name is Bruce Lee because he fought with me. I did beat the hell of him. And then after he got many brews, you know, they start calling him Bruce. I mean, like now they say Bruce Lee. But the fact is Bruce Lee. I, I gave him the name. Anyone he debate me, he into the bruises. I can make you a Bruce Lee in two seconds. Just call me. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> don't take it personal. I do not know you, you know. But when he says stupid things, I would say it's stupid what I can say. It's not my fault. It's by default. I am a Native American, exactly, so I can be a senator. Like, you know, this woman, she claimed she'd be Native American all her life. But when the, 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 the DNA test, it turned to be she is a German. Oh, boy. Yeah, true story. You know, In the election time, they become black. They become Indian. They become whatever, like only in the election day. After the election... They are different species. All right. <clears throat> Anyone would like to join us? Any uh, Anyone from supporters of Democrat? Huh? Nobody? What happened? What is the What is the supporters of the? I'm sure if you debate me about it, you you will win. I mean, come on, YouTube in your side, they will censor my video and they will take it down anyway. What are you worried about? Huh? Oh boy, what we can say. I am from Uganda. I don't even know where is that located in the map. At least give me a name I can defend, man. What is Uganda? <laughs> like, you know, those guys, they have a fake passport. They go in the airport. And like where he is from, he is from, let us say, uh, Japan. But he doesn't speak Japanese. Mm. He look Afghani, he speak Afghani, and he is a flying from Afghan, but his passport is Japanese. And the policeman look, mm, there's nothing suspicious. Okay, sir, welcome to European Union. All right, welcome. Like, what the heck? The guy, he don't look Asian. He's a blonde. He dressed like Taliban. He don't speak Japanese. And he's coming from Kabul. And then... The police in the European Union, they did not find anything in suspicious. Europe, this is Europe, welcome to Europe. They are so smart. Very smart. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was in the army, you know, you go in the army, you stay for some time away. So Muslims, they start spreading rumors about me that I'm being killed or died, you know. So they open a chat room celebrating the death of a Christian prince. Imagine the day I came back from the army, I found a room in Palto says celebrating the death of a Christian prince. So I went to Paltok admins, like, you know, they are the official of the company. So I spoke to the guy who is in charge, and I explained to him, there is a room. I said, do you allow people to open such a chart room, like, I have my name, celebrating the death of a Christian prince? He said, what's your business? I said, I'm a Christian prince. And then he said to me, are you saying to me you're alive? What? What? The guy is speaking to Christian prince, saying to me, are you saying to me you're alive? I said, I don't know. What do you think? 
Welcome to, welcome to the liberals. The liberal trying to figure out if the guy he is speaking to is alive or dead, because it's highly possible that he's dead. Isn't it, Prophet Muhammad said, when you die, the angels come to you with the hammer of Thor and hit you in the head and ask you three questions. So are you saying to me, listen carefully, please think before you answer. Are you saying to me that you're alive? Christian Prince was the, uh, I don't know really, so seriously, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I just came from the army. Let me see if there's any bullets. What a stupid idiot. And then YouTube, they sent me a letter saying, uh, Christian Prince, we found that you are using the videos of a person. His name is a Christian. You stupid idiot. You just told me my name is a Christian Prince and you are saying to me I'm using the videos of Christian Prince. YouTube, they found out that I am using the videos of a Christian Prince. I mean, unbelievable, man, those liberals. They're so good. They're so smart. They vote for Kamala. That is the additional proof that they are so smart. And I said, but but you know what? I start suspecting myself. Like, who am I? Maybe I'm not Christian Prince. If YouTube saying, I mean, this is Google. They knew everything about you. And they are suspecting that you are not Christian Prince. They can read your email. They can even see your phone messages. You are not a Christian Prince, are you? Some fishy. We got you busted. So there's nobody want to debate me today? Not even one? What's wrong with people? Nobody want to confront me? Confront? I don't know. English is really weird. Confront. Con? Con and front. What is the connection between them? English. Eh, just let it go. CP, are you Highlander? Well, to be honest with you, if I vote Democrat, I will be high. But where I will land, only Allah knows better. <laughs> what Highlander mean? <laughs> they are asking me, are you Highlander? I don't know what does that mean. But if I vote for Democrat, I will be high for sure. But I'm not sure where I will land. It's possible in nowhere. Or maybe in Gaza. All right, all right. Look like we are. We have no customers today. Not even Abdul. <clears throat> Does anyone have a question for me? Uh, in Discord, we have a question from a Shia person. It says, I'm a Shia uh, Muslim. Living in UK, I'm very educated in Islam and Christianity, but I'm having some doubt about Islam and interested and quite attracted to Christianity, but I do not have enough proof yet to be Christian. Can you help me? Feel free, you can join me if you want, even though this is not our topic. But you see, the, the searching for proofs, that is not what people should do when it's come to faith. Because the proof, they should come automatically when you are, let us say, you reach a point where you know where you stand. Proofs is, is just a stage. Of where you are so we can say oh and this moment I have a proof but the fact this is not really proof this is where you are you think you have a proof it might be not the proof is a true proof so we can fool ourselves says we have a proof of something but the fact you don't have it but you convince yourself of it so this is not how I find Christ is not by a proof Christ himself Shut up, don't talk. Oh, don't talk. Let me close the video. Christ himself, he said, knock at my door and I will open for you. The proofs you are talking about is something will happen after you knock at the door. Because you will be invited and you will be welcomed and you will be explained. You, you will be explained, not God. Because you need to explain yourself to yourself before you know God. For a human being, he do not know himself, and then he tried to find someone he don't know. So first of all, you explain yourself to yourself. Who am I? What I'm looking for? What I want? What is the purpose of my journey? And then if you find that the journey of Jesus is in the same direction of your journey, that is the proof to you. For the first proof is you. 
What do you want? Do you want sex? Do you want money? Do you want Muhammad? Because you, then you go in the same direction with Muhammad. That will be the proof for you because it's what you want. So what you seek is what is going to be your journey and direction. So if what you seek is the same direction of Jesus, then you will meet with him. I hope I answered you. <clears throat> All right. Everyone, as I said, goes where you belong. If you are a person who is about party, you will be desperate to go to party, night to clubs, bars. But if you walk in the front of bars day and night, you will never enter because this is not your interest. But if it's your interest, you will fly from overseas to different places to go there. If your interest is gambling, you will fly all the way to Las Vegas because this is your interest. But I am a Muslim my whole life and very scared to leave it because, my friend, those things, I don't want to be insulting, but those things are stupid to say for me. I am a Muslim all my life. I'm afraid to leave. So why are you just staying? I don't like a drama, you know. I mean, either you are the man or you are nobody. I'm not going to be afraid of anyone. I say what I believe. I do what I believe. But I'm afraid if I leave, etc. My mama, she will not give me uh, tuition. Okay, well, so stay with your, the lap of your mama. Why are you are telling me? Shall I bet you? Real men is the one who they are real men, and they do what they believe it's right. They don't do things because they fear somebody, regardless what it is. The Messiah said, don't be afraid, I am with you. The Messiah spoke even to Moses, don't be afraid. When you are afraid, you will not, you will not alive. You see, the person who lives in fear, he have no life, he's dead already. You, maybe you eat, maybe you sleep, but you are dead because you're afraid. You're afraid of bacteria, you're afraid of germs, you're afraid of the pillow, have a, uh, have a bacteria, afraid of corona, afraid of highway, afraid of the accident, afraid of... The, you're afraid. You don't have life, you don't enjoy life, because simply you are always worried. Even when you have sex with your wife, you're afraid she will get a breath net. You're afraid she will bite you. You never know, women are crazy. So why do you do it? Don't do it. So the second you are a person who lives in fear, you are a slave of fear, you are nobody. Fear is your master. You are not in control of your life. For fear is going to direct you wherever you want to go. All right. Real women to CP. What does that mean, real women? There's no real women these days. Are they? Are they? So what those eyelashes? Yesterday I saw a woman. I'm not going to describe. I wish I have a picture. To, I mean, a picture of her. Who? I saw the most weird thing ever. She have a balcony on her eyes, like the eyelashes was coming almost touching the other side of the road. No exaggeration, brother. What real women? Anyway, just let it go. Long nails, eyelashes, fake boobs. Even the butt is not real no more. And what is left? And then they have a song for you. It says, "Really, women." Walking down the street, really women. Are you blind? Look down the street, there's no real women. You crazy? <laughs> real women. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let it go, let it go before I get killed by women. I will get killed either by Muslims or by women. I know which one is going to come first. Uh, any Abdul? Anyone who support Kamala want to join us? Urban Guru, that's a good one. We have Urban Guru. Yes, Mr. Urban, how are you doing? Are you there? Guys, is he talking? I hear nothing, right? 
Did Arben speak? Is he talking? Uh, Arben. Oh. Yes, go ahead, Arben. How are you doing? Well, hey, 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 I'm sorry. I'm new to this. I just downloaded the app and everything so I can speak to you. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm an independent, registered independent. I've been independent since 97. And, you know, my biggest problem with Donald Trump right now is um, it's not that I like what he did when he wasn't, right? He, uh, especially what he did with Jerusalem. I like the way he treated NATO. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I like that he did. The problem is, is that his character. Um, and I think that's the main reason why he's not president today. Like what? If he hadn't been. Huh? Like, like what? Give us an example about character. Well, you know, some of the stuff where he talks about in his rallies to talk about, you know, back in the day, we would beat them up, we would throw them out. You know, how he insults people consistently and constantly as a president. You know, I understand your point about we can insult people as Christians, which is true. You use the scripture to back up what you're saying. But at the same time, um, you know, as a president, you know, you just can't operate in that manner. And for that reason, you know, I have a very difficult time thinking about voting for him. You know, yeah, even but, though uh, uh, he did do a great job with abortion as well. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, you see, uh, uh, when somebody, this guy uh, is his, uh, his future in this, uh, in this uh, election because they want to put him in jail. So uh, if he is a flipping about abortion, he's just trying to get more vote. And uh, for yes. sure, I'm against that. But I, I, at the same time, I understand that this guy, they want to destroy him. They are doing everything, you know. So he would end in jail. He, they, will, they will execute him if they could. So they, they are making anyone even close to him pay a very high price. So he knew what is in the ballot for him. It's not just about election. It's his future. So this guy is struggling a lot. And sadly, we are not understanding. We are just judging. Uh, for sure, I'm against uh, abortion. But the guy, he is trying his best to win the election. He noticed that this is an important issue for many, and he might lose. Like Because what happened last election in the Congress and senators, uh, uh, instead of uh, supposedly everybody thought we will win massively, they did not. And if they were able to win the election when he is in charge of the government, so imagine now what they can do and cheat. So this guy is desperate trying to win, to save himself first, and then for us, is to save America. I don't have to agree with him. In fact, I like the way he insults people because he's natural. Natural person oh. is not hidden. You know, he's, he's not hidden. He's, he's natural. You speak to him, he's, no. he's, he's like me. You know, he said to you, you're stupid. You know, he, he okay. was I'm from the East Coast, so I understand. He's a, he's a New Yorker. No, no, it's not. No, New Yorker well, doesn't make him natural. No, New Yorker doesn't make him natural. In, in New York, nah, I mean, have I mean a CNN, way of my friend, CNN, you know? CNN, CNN, they insult everybody. They insult everybody. They insult our intelligence. They insult our our uh, uh, our knowledge. They even use bad language, and they frame the guy. They keep calling him all kind of rapist. They call him rapist. I mean, this guy, how you can call a person a rapist in public without proof? Did, did, did the court, well, I agree did the, with did, you there. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you with all the court cases. Even, yeah, I even think but, but the they, state been targeting tried, him with his business. I understand. They tried I to agree. demonize him. So the guy is under a lot of pressure. Many of you, if you are facing all those cases, you won't be able to sleep. I feel sorry for him. They are talking after after his kids, coming after his wife, coming after his, even his baby child. The, the guy is just 18 years old. They are going after him. So this guy, he become their enemy number one. So for us, we need to understand the stress he is facing. I mean, this guy, he have court everywhere. They want to keep him in court. They don't want to let him go out of the court, hoping they can cancel him. They, su they suspended his account in YouTube, in Facebook, in Twitter. The president cannot speak to his people. This is how bad it is. So for us, we should understand by putting ourselves in, our in his shoes, if we could for a second, and you will see how much the pressure on him. This guy actually, he, he is a, he is a really, uh, for me, I see him as a hero. How he can stand all of this? Well, hello? I'm here. Well, at the, but yeah, I'm sorry. But at the same time, every single thing that they're like snagging him on, and that's what I call it, it's like a snag, like a fish hook on your, 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 your pant leg. Every single thing that they're snagging him on is because of the things he says and does. 
So it's not necessarily no, no, that not they're the true. not the true. As an example, the the mortgage of of the bank. Mm -hmm. Almost every person in the world who want to get well, a mortgage, agree with he, that. You he, don't have to explain he, he that. exaggerate in his yeah. asset. So he, every yes, one of them, he do the same. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. So they go fifteen years ago. He paid his mortgage. Yes. You know. Yes. So obviously it's a yeah. scam. Then they brought a the woman. She accused him of rape. She could not prove it. She have no pictures. She have no witnesses. She have nothing. And yet that the was jury, ridiculous too. And yes. yet the jury is yes. the jury is because they are Democrat. This is a city of Democrat. The judge is a Democrat. The juries are state Democrat. Democrat. The police are Democrat. The mm -hmm. whole state is Democrat. And then they judge him. Mm -hmm. They could not judge him for because there is no proof. But they still judge him against what what the, all the proof says. So anything he said, he, he will be used against him. This is what yes. this is what called a smearing. This is not reality. The but guy, but the guy, he said he's time. not careful. He's not careful. You know. And they try to use what yeah, he's he said. He's not careful. He's not yeah. a careful but, man. But he why? Has to be but, careful. but why you are judging him for not being careful? Because you have to be in order to be president. You have to have some sort of like you know the Bible talks about the children of the world are, are much more wiser than the children my of the light. Friend, my friend, he, 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 he has not, to be smarter. He is not a biblical man, and he never claimed to no, be so. Not. All right, but, but he has plenty but, but of I trust him. I trust, him. I trust him a billion times more than the very good will, like will speaking Obama, a sneaky Obama, you know. So, who can, who can speak better, Obama or, or Trump? For sure, Obama will beat him easy. But the guy is a sneaky, well, you know, is, 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 well, a, yeah, is a fraud. The gay stuff and all this and stuff, yeah. But the way I look at it is that, uh, uh, I, I would have voted for any Republican that would come in. Um, if other than Trump, uh, and I'd be honest with you, um, I, I, I just the man just, uh, I just don't think he's presidential. I, but I will, I was hoping that Nikki Haley or Rubio or somebody would take the lead of the Republican Party. You're, you're and mistaken. I guarantee you're you mistaken. Did, those those are not uh, a good business, man. They don't know how to make America flourish again because you need to fix what's happening now. The, I'm sorry, to the country, my friend, the country need help. Do you, do you go check the dollar price? Go check how many countries they are joining BRICS. They are preparing war for America. They are trying to take America down. So you Definitely. need somebody to save the economy. It's not just making the grocery store. The, the story is way bigger. The, your enemy is lining up together. They are trying to throw the dollar under the bus. And those stupid Democrats, well, yeah, instead of fixing that, oh. instead of fighting that, they are busy with the transgender. They are busy with homosexual. They are busy with the bathroom. So you need a person, not Marco Robbio. No, he's a politician too. He's not a businessman. You need a person who knows how to fight their business plan. They are doing business plan. We should have a business plan against their business plan, not just a politician, not just someone he is a conservative. I will not vote for anyone beside him, especially at this time, for he will do better when it's come to economy. He will do better when it's come to fight the plan of the enemies. China is trying to take over everywhere. China trying Absolutely. to convince China trying to convince everybody that dollar time is over. And the, the Democrat, you know, they keep making uh, sanctions in everybody. Sanctions, sanctions, even in China. This is not the way to do it. The Chinese will dump your dollar because you are making sanction. And that will make your dollar go down. So they are not being smart. There's a way to do things. Trump, he was doing it in the right way. So I say, you say that somebody can do better. We have many Republicans before him. They did not do what he did in four years. As the Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So when Trump was in the office, the interest for mortgage was what? One, two. It is now seven yeah, and eight. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. it is seven and eight. The gas price is three times more. The food price is three times more. You can't even afford rent. You cannot afford living. You cannot. So we do not need to examine the guy. The guy he proved himself already. He closed the border. He secured the border. Even though they were doing everything they can to not make him do so. So if you don't vote for him, my friend, you are voting for the devil. Because a vote, you know, if I don't vote for Trump, I'm voting for a Democrat. Even if I don't go to election, even if I don't go to the voting center, the second my vote doesn't go to the one who opposed them. You know, indoctrinate our children, teaching them how to be homo, teaching them how to be transgender, changing their gender. This is the agenda. Agenda is nothing about about making America great. It's about making America weird. 
is about corrupting our children. It's about teaching you what you should be. Even your gender, they will, they will tell you, what is your gender? You cannot even be a person, living a human being. Okay, a person, he grew up, uh, he became a teenage. He don't like to be a boy. Okay, this is what you like, free country. But this is not what they are doing. They are forcing their agenda on your children. A child who is five years old. So if you don't vote for Trump, you are throwing your children under the bus. This is what you are doing. So this is your chance to fix it before it's too late. And then when it's too late, it's too late for everybody. Those people are weird. They have they have a bad economy. They have a bad the security. They have bad safety. Weird. Hey, what I always tell my friends, I tell them that the problem in this country is the people on the far left and the far right have the loudest voices. There's nothing, the there's, there's the nothing called far right. Sense. No, my friend, there's nothing called far right and mm -hmm. far left, far right. This is not true. This is all, all this is your framing. You know, you're framing people. You are you decide who is far, who is close, because this is your distance. This is all a fiction. Like if you are not, you might say a Christian prince is far right. Why? Because you are not close to me. No, but if your ideas, right. no, no, this is fiction. You're, you're this is fiction, censored. my friend. It's, it's far right. Okay, what, what is what is what is what is far right? Can you tell me? Far right is uh, uh, that's where you find Christian nationalism. What's wrong? The far left, how you can be Christian? No. How how that is far right? Well, Christian nationalism has a basis in the alt right movement. Which came out of the uh, Southern Baptist Convention, my friend. I'm so, not asking you now about parties. I'm asking you how to be. A, how well, I am a person. I love America. I'm nationalist. I am. A, I am a migrant. Me myself. I'm, I'm no, not, you're, you're, I'm not no, you're. I'm not born in this country. I am not born in this country. That's no, different. I joined. I joined the army to defend this country, mm -hmm. and I wanted to die for this country. Ooh. How that mm -hmm. is bad? How is that? You know, this is. No, I'm, I'm not, you see, I'm not framing you as bad or far right at you, all. You don't appreciate. You don't have to be. You don't have to be far right to support this is Trump. Not far. You just this is not far. This is the right thing. No, of course not. It is. It's not. I'm not saying that. What, what I'm saying is that in the in the, uh, the political discourse, the loudest people are the people with the weirdest ideas right now. My friend, you know, you keep saying things. Uh -huh. With my respect to you, you are speaking like Kamara now. You are saying things that they can't explain them. Kamala, you keep saying, no. yeah, you, you, are, you are saying to me they have the loud voice. No, you, you, you have a voice. No. You have a loud voice too. You have a loud voice. Say to me, prove to me. If a person he is far right American, what do you do? We want to mm -hmm. close the border. Well, I want to close the border too, and I am a migrant. Are you going to accuse me now to be KKK? So what far right mean? Far right is somebody is right. Far right far is right somebody is, is right. right, not somebody is wrong. Somebody he don't want people would not know. Gangs come in. It's common sense. So sadly now we go to school. The no. teacher he teach you that far right is evil. They are fascists. They are Nazi. No, they are the fascists. They are the it, one who don't far accept. Far right you. is a terrible thing. It, it just is. You know, I'm, I've been you know in America all my life. You know, my family. Uh, of course, we came here with slavery almost about well, five hundred years ago. So yeah, we understand that this this dynamic a little bit, probably a little bit more than you do. So, and that's one of the reasons. And it's really the primary reasons why I can't support a party that has most of the races, you know, supporting them. Hold on, uh, let, let, let us talk about racism. Did you, sure. Did you hear the speech of Michelle Obama? Uh what went during the Democratic yeah, convention? Yeah, yeah. She keeps what? saying us, us, us. What she is saying, she is saying us, the black. And they are the white. This is racism. So no, yes, no, yes, yes, saying, my friend. Uh, she uh, said it happened. It happened to be two black ladies. No, what two black ladies? What does that mean? So their, their election, specific. my friend. Their, their election. Their, their election is about race card. But there is nobody racist as they are. They use race card to make the black people vote for them. But when they are in the office, they do nothing to the black people. So now, if you go and check, well, from, I agree that neither party does anything. Listen, for black no, people, no, you are mistaken. You know, you are you are mistaken. Trump, how's that? Trump, go check right now. Don't listen to me. Trump is the only president who did not allow colleges, which is a black African colleges, to, to, um, beg, to, beg, yeah. to, beg, to beg for uh -huh. money. He said to them, from now on, you don't come to me. Every year, yeah, he made it your, permanent. Your money, but did you know? Hold on, let me, let me yeah, finish. Let I'm me just, finish. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Your money will be renewed. You don't need to come every year begging the president, please. Can you support us? No, from now on, never happen again. 
President Trump well, you know they, is the only one yeah, who he, open he opportunity, that. opportunity zone, which means yeah. I, I would never, I would never lie about what he did, didn't do. What I'm not, I don't do that. If somebody did something good, I'm gonna say yes, he did. I, like I said before, okay. Trump did so something did he, good. Did he? I'm gonna say. He, it. But, he, well, he, let me explain to you about forgave, that HB You know, bill. the black community they are suffering. They are suffering badly. They are suffering badly. Hold on. He, Black community, the they are suffering badly because the Department of Justice, let me finish, the Department of Justice uh, target the black community. Trump is the one who said, let us do yes. a reform. Let us give those people a chance to, to, be, to be forgiven. They commit one crime. Why would not we enable them to be criminal forever? Let us give them a chance. Trump, he did that to the black people, not Biden, not Obama. Trump, he well, opened opportunity Zoom. If you are a person, a businessman, you want to open a, a business in a poor area for where black people live, we will not tax oh. you, tax free. Just come here, help them. So what Obama did? Oh, nothing. Let's, eight let's years, eight years. Said. Obama did not open a school man. for you. Obama did not support the killage. Ob Obama he make just speeches. Clinton make speeches. Hillary make speeches. And Biden make speeches. And I am now speechless to describe for you how miserable the life of the black people because well, of those speeches. Like I was saying. <laughs> Like, like first, you know, you're saying speeches, but first, uh, Trump did not write that bill. It was a Democratic sponsored bill. He signed in law. So I give him credit for signing into law. Uh, the second no, he, thing. No, he made them. No, he made them. It was his idea. No, no, it was not. You can look it up. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not going to lie about it. I will go with your logic. He did not make I, I, it I, up. My friend, yeah, okay, cool. my friend, I will go with your logic. Uh -huh. Let us say you are the one who gave me the idea and I sign it. At the end of the day, it is my idea because if I did not sign it, your idea is in the No, bottom. that's not how it works in policy. No, I mean, it's you, how it works. No, yeah, it's how it works. No, it's how it works because his signature would make you get, it. You get credit for. No, 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 no. There's no credit. There's one, there's one person you give him a credit at the end is the one who make it happen. If no, I, it wasn't his if idea. I, but if also I, if I open a business, open a business, I buy furniture, I put a sign, and I put, uh, and they bring the employees, and then you, you are the government did not give me the license. My business cannot open. So he is the one. You you can say this idea of this. He can refuse it. He's racist. Remember, they say racist. Why you want to help the black people? He's racist. He's a KKK. Why you want to help the black people? So he can he should refuse it. So you are trying to take the credit away from him, give it to somebody else. Well, the president, my well, friend. I'm not trying to take credit away from him. President, it's just like you said earlier. President, He's switching I have his, a team. Load on abortion so my he can friend, get elected. My friend, president, he actually, he, president, no, he he have, have logic, though. president, he have a team. He should not know everything. Because no human being can know everything. So if I became president now, not. I am not an army guy. If I am a Trump, i never been in the army, as if I am a Trump. So how I will know what the army, what they need, what is uh, what, what is a strategic, what is not. I am good in business. So Trump, he's good in business, but in the rest of things, he don't know. So all even their speeches mm. is not even written by them. All the speeches you see in TV is not written by the president. It's written by somebody else. So the speeches, well, yeah, but the president was, make a speech. He did he not, did this is not his speech. Like so my friend, but I'm, I'm trying to say to you, if you are a Christian and you, you, you are saying you are, at the end of the day, we can only look at the fruits. When Trump was a president, food price was cheap, housing cheap, border is secure, and our life is way better, and our dollar is stronger, and everybody is doing fine. Our guys, we can drive. I can. I don't dare even to drive. What about so, his fruits of his spirit, though? You know, you, you're talking about friend, like the uh, spirit. The spirit is your duty as a Christian who is always holding you. What, what did Trump have to do with the spirit now? Go preach, teach the gospel. Who's holding you? I mean, what, what, you know, he, you know, he did the, the HBCU things for votes, like you said earlier about my, the whole abortion. My, thing. my friend, my friend, my he friend, pivot, my he friend. made a pivot. I mean, so I mean look what we are doing. We forget all the shit the Democrat they did, and we are yet as a Christians. So well, how, no, come I, you, I how come you are not Democrat upset? How come you are not upset? Did did Trump he put the the gay flag in the Resurrection Day of Jesus on the White House? Oh no. yeah, I'm upset about that. Oh, okay, oh, I was so very upset that about alone that is bad. enough for me to vote against Democrat. That alone. So you still questioning? If you are a really a true Christian, that alone is a big insult to Jesus. This party, this party, this party is Antichrist party, and I have no question about it. 
Anyway, I think both parties are. No, 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 it's not that a Republican who want to teach our kids how to put their fingers and their anus. No, sorry. That's not true. It's not Republican who put the gay flag on the White House. That's not true. It's not Republican who says we want to take the cross down from the street. It's not them who want to make a bill to take the Bible from every hotel. It's not them who forbid the Ten Commandment. Go check history. It's not them who support slavery. It was the Democrat. So how in the world you are an African person and even you vote for the, the party who wanted you to stay slave? That is weird. Fact, fact, my friend, facts. Don't give me speeches. Properly, I will never meet with a Trump and he will never invite me and I will never be important for him. But I have eyes and I have ears. I don't go by what they say in TV. I see his fruits. When by when uh, Trump, let's say he's a fake Christian, but he holds the Bible. Can Trump? Can Biden hold the Bible in his hand? Can they even say we are Christians? They will not be here. When Trump he holds the Bible, this they crucified him for doing that. Just for holding the Bible in his hand. And you want to vote for a Democrat? I will vote for Trump every day and I will never vote for the Democrats. This is the party of rats. They fool the African American. They say to them, this is your party. But in reality, this party, you know, they take them for granted. They don't even give them anything for return. Like what they give you when you vote for them, nothing. Who is in the cabinet of those Democrats? Where Obama live? With the filthy, rich, white people. Where his kids go to school? With the very, very redhead, filthy, rich, white people. Where they, what, 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 what a club they go to? What restaurant they eat at? Do they go to like a, a small businessman restaurant in New York, a poor black? No, no. Do they wear even your clothes? No. Do they have a friends like you? No. In fact, all of them, they are friends of Trump. When Trump was out of the office, they all over his backyard, enjoying his money in his wealth. It's a fact. The second he decided to go in politics, he is not welcome because the mafia did not approve him. He is not from the establishment of the Democrat and the Republican. He's not like George Bush. The Republican establishment himself, they disapprove him. Don't you see? All of them, they are against him. George Bush, everybody, Cheney, Bedini, Mac Mac uh, uh, McCain, all of them. Why? Because he is not supposed to be there. He is not from their elite, the mafia. That's why they hated him. Yet he was able to flip the party upside down. And look, his choice. I saw a video from CNN speaking about uh, J. Uh, what the, what his name? J. D. Uh, the vice president for Trump. Uh, they said he is asking to have more babies, and they accuse him to be a racist. He want to have more white babies. Do you see how they smear the guy? But the guy, his wife is Indian. She have dark skin. And they are accusing him that he's asking people to make more babies because more white babies because we want to replace the black people. Do you, this is in the CNN. I can, I can find the video for you. Can you believe it? I mean, if the guy, his wife is a blonde, redhead, he didn't say anything about the black and white. He said we need to have more children, not to kill them. Suddenly it's about white and black. So they use the race card because they are because they are racist. For them, Democrat are a race, and Republican are a race, and they have to erase us. This is the truth. Uh, 
Let me see if I can find the video for you. I did watch it, but I forgot the name of... Uh, And you know, the good thing is, the one who exposed their lies are African-American. I like that. African-American are showing people how the Democrats are lying, how they're trying to frame the guy, make him as a racist. I mean, his wife is Indian, she has dark skin, yet they claim that he is a racist, he's a cake -key. I mean, why why somebody is racist when asleep in bed with women, kiss her, touch her, have sex with her, have baby from her, and marry her? Yet he's racist. They are so desperate to frame you. The, the same as the Muslim, they try to frame everybody. I need to find the, 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 the name of the video. I watched it a while ago. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we go to... Where is the history? Where you can find history? Maybe not here. Yeah, maybe I need to look for history so I can find it. But anyway, you can find it. The, the woman in the video, she was saying that he is asking the white people to have more babies so they can replace the black. Are you serious? <laughs> this is how sick they are literally they are so sick how, how you guys how you can find the history let me see what is the history the history the history the history if you go to your channel all right still I can see history maybe here hold on uh, history here we go Yeah, the guy he is trying to replace the white in America, the, the black, you know. True story. Maybe I did watch it with different YouTube account, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think so. That's why it's not showing. Anyway, if anyone knows the video, you can share it with me uh, so I can play it. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep longer. We heard, you know, our friend here, he is a Christian, supposedly, and he is an African. And yet he says he have difficulty to vote for Trump. Well, go pay for a hell of money for your grocery. Enjoy driving less. Enjoy being cold in the winter because you can't afford to turn the heater. Enjoy having the drug dealers come into your town selling your kids drugs and the gang taking over your, 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 your street did you see what they, what they did in Colorado? Taking over the whole building with their guns machines. There's no police to be found. They defund the police. They defund the police, which will protect you. But in their DNC, every one of the elite have five or six policemen around them. They defund the police, the one who protect you. But the police protect them. Oh, no, we spend a lot of money for them. This is who they are. They are the devil. They speak about feeding you, but they feed you speeches. They speak about your security, but you know your security is horrible. They speak about gun control, but they open the borders where guns come and bombs and terrorists come from everywhere. <laughs> How, what gun controls? Are you, are you stupid? Human trafficking, madness, garbage, children abuse, but they always try to present themselves that they are the one who fight for the civil liberty when they are not civil and they are not liberal. The word liberal does not fit with them. This is the party of slavery. For the whole purpose is how we can make those stupid people slave, our slaves, by controlling their mind and make them work for us for free. This is a slavery party. There's no way you are an African-American or any kind or migrant like me 
and you are smart and you will vote for the devil the Democrat they are the party of the rich actually there's many videos made by many who used to be all their life Democrat there's a woman I wish I can find her video again to play it for you she decided to leave she was very active when she wanted the DNC she said what the heck is this they keep saying they fund the police but they made for every one of the famous one celebrity seven eight bodyguards police forces special service so they fund the police for us and 75 to 80 thousand dollars the cost of the security of everyone important came to the DNC what they spent for security of one person in the DNC from those rich, uh, important people is more than the money you make in three years. So security for them, safety for them, and defund the police for you. And the foolish you, you think they are protecting you by defunding the police. So they can take the money, spend it somewhere else. Those who they are against the police, do they go without secret service everywhere? <laughs> CP, we reject your negative prophecy of America. We pray those leadership for God. Yeah, you pray for leadership for God, but you vote for people who support homosexuality. And you are a true Christian rose. God, I pray Kamala Harris will win so our children will become homosexual. Oh God, thank you, God. Rose, she is a Christian. She is praying for God. And for Allah, Allah is God for her too because she's a hippie. Please Allah make uh, American boys, girls, and American girls think they are boys. Thank you, God, for Allah. Thank you for that. And uh, God, because we are very friendly, nation, you know, open our border, let the gang come over, rape our daughter, because our daughter needs to be raped. And they are bored at home. There's nothing. God. And God, don't forget to support. And we pray for the drug dealers so they can be successful in their business. For we vote for Democrats. They are rats. And what does this uh, rat do? What rat do? Uh, Rose, I, I hope that your prayer is accepted from the devil. So don't play to me that you are Christian. You are the last one to be called Christian. You are a potato. And you've been fried by Christian prince. I'm a Christian prince and I approve this message. Message, 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 potato. <laughs> Crazy people, man. And you know, those Christians who they are fake Christian, they try to make you feel guilty like, Christian Prince, you are spreading division and hatred. You're guilty. We're going to crucify you. They did that to Jesus, you know, not nothing new. You know, they tried to smear Jesus the same way you tried to smear me. Right? Like, do you pay tax, Jesus? You told them, what is your the money in your pocket? Show me. Huh? What is picture? Caesar, picture. We'll give to Caesar what is to Caesar. You want to try to smear me? Try to make me feel guilty? God bless you, Christian Prince, for insult. Thank you, Rose. May God uh, uh, receive your prayer. God, she's, Rose, she said, thank you for the insult. I hope you will reward me for that. And uh, I'm sure that the Lord, he appreciate my insult to you. For he command us to insult the fool by rebuking them so they can be smarter. So I hope, Rose, Rose, what do you eat? Are you following the diet of Kamala? I'm serious, like, like what do you eat? The guru, Sadhguru, he says you are what you eat. Which is very weird, by the way. Because a chicken eats shit. Based on this philosophy, if chicken eats shit and we eat a chicken, that means we are shit. No shit. Sadhguru, Sadhguru is wise man, you know, you know what he's talking about, you are what you eat. Yeah, this is what they, they repeat, you are what you eat, really. Mm. I just ate the cucumber. Uh, you are cucumber. Huh? Watermelon. Uh, you are watermelon. I ate macaroni. You are a macaroni. Okay, well, I, I ate an octopus. Man, keep your arms away from me. I ate an elephant, your nose is long. That's so deep. Intelligence. Who can be the intelligence? Right? Did the guy enjoy uh, listening to me? I hope not. If you enjoyed, I feel sorry for you. 
that according to Rose, uh, Paul, Paul, Paul study, like, uh, you know, according to Rose, the one who enjoy listening to me, they are stupid, and that's why she is still here. Listening. But imagine I'm stupid and wrong, but she is here listening. That's, that's weird. <laughs> you know, Rose, what if we make this, or we say this? You are what you listen to. So now you are me, and I am you. Ah, I cannot say I'm you because you are listening to me. I'm not listening to you. Thank God. Imagine Christian Prince, he goes to sleep, he wake up in the morning, he finds himself rose. Oh no. Oh boy. Not. No, please. You know? It happened to me once. I made a wish and uh, I said, God, make me look like Christian Prince. I went to the mirror. I look like me. Unbelievable. Oh, crazy. All right. <clears throat> Forget about Rose. Poor woman. Yeah, anyone who want to vote for Democrat is a fool. I, I, I don't have a, a, like, I cannot hesitate to say it to you. You have to be mentally not stable, you know. And when they try to make you believe that Trump is racist, let me tell you something, everybody is racist. I'm, I'm serious. Don't black like to be with black people? Is that, is, is it true that German like to be around German? Is it true like, Indonesian like to be around Indonesian. I mean, what, what the hell is that? Racism is ugly only if you treat people bad because of their color or their, you know, that's all. If you treat them bad. But everybody is racist. As long as we have a race, everybody is racist. The difference is do you treat people badly because of their race? So, racist, the negative way, is to be bad against people just because of their look, or the language, or whatever. But racism itself is part of our life. As an example, I'm racist, I like baklava. You know? You speak to an atheist or those liberals, they ask you, do you like chocolate? I say no. Say, see, he's racist. He don't like people of color. Like, what the heck? Seriously. Yeah, he got you busted. You know. Okay, but you know, like people who they like what I say are black and white and Asian, doesn't matter. Okay, do you like to live in Indonesia? No. Oh, see, he hate Indonesian. Now we are talking his real color is appearing. He don't like to live in Indonesia. My friend, I have my reason. If I go to Indonesia, I will find a million Abdul waiting for me in the airport. So what? You don't like Asian people. Good. They will find any way, anyhow, to frame you. You know, that's it. You are framed. That's it. Do you like hummus? I like hummus. Oh, racist Middle Eastern Arab. He like hummus. Abdul, this is our food. They will find any reason to make you racist, especially in the time where, you know, framing you can make a difference. And this is exactly what they are doing with the Trump. What is the weakness of Trump? He is a blonde. He's redhead. But what if he's black? Trust me, if he's black, they will say he is not a black because you don't vote for them. And this is what Biden he said. If you don't vote for me, he said that to a black man. If you don't say it, if you don't vote for me, you are ain't black. The guy is black. No, he's not black. Who? Huh? He's black. No, he's not. The guy is black in the front. Of, he is not. He did not vote for me. It's true. You hate Hamas? Okay. Hamas hate you too. May Allah curse you now. This person hate Hamas. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> the friend of my... Oh boy. Anyway, we are smarter than this, and I hope people will vote right. But today, I gave you like an idea about how things work. Sometimes you might think that those Muslim government, they are away from controlling your media, your election, but they are investing a lot of money. Iran is trying their best to give misinformation about Trump so he will lose the election. Putin, is he support Iran, he support Hezbollah, he support Hamas, but he won't. Trump to win. Why? 
because Trump, he make it clear that he will not do follow the steps of the Democrat regarding Ukraine. So everybody, he seek his own benefit, which is very normal. However, Muslims, they invest in old. They invest in Putin. They will invest in your Trump. They invest in Kamala. But at the end of the day, the purpose is try to control you in Europe, in the West, using conservative, using liberal. It doesn't matter. Whoever ready to be the horse, they will ride on him. So your duty to be vigilant and don't be the horse of any devil. The devil, he will use any bike, any. He have many faces, not necessarily liberal. They can be so-called conservative. They are serving the devil. And you believe them. And this is the why. This is why they find them perfectly useful tools. Because you believe them. There's a video made by the KGB, ex-KGB. I don't know if you guys watch it. He speak about how to demonize the society in the West. Took them more than 20 years to do that. And then the, the plan is that time will come and those Americans, they will hate America. American will burn the flag of America. America will not defend America. America will collapse. That's the plan. And if this is continue, this country will collapse. The economy will collapse. The border will collapse. Because those hippies, as you heard, this person, he called me, he says nationalist. Suddenly being nationalist is bad. So Russian, they support nationalism in Russia, but not in America. <laughs> Do you see? A Muslim, he loves Saddam Hussein, he support Iraq. Or a Shia, he support Al Khomeini, he is nationalist for Iran and Shia. But in America, they don't want the same people who don't want nationalism here, they want it there. They go to the African American, they say to them, nationalism is fascist, but then they say to you, the African identity. Do you see how hypocrite they are? How you are against nationalism, and then you say African identity. Isn't it about nation? And this is what nationalism is about. So they try to fool you. And if you are a low IQ, intelligent person, anyone controlled can control your mind. So I came here to warn you. And I'm sure there's many smart and dummy. They will hear us. So let me see your smart comment or your dummy comment. In the comment section not only in the chat I don't know why people don't make a comment share our videos invite your friends if you care and sadly we don't have a big view like those people you know who manipulate things those who say the truth nobody sponsor them I'm not talking about money I'm talking sponsor us by supporting us by sharing links by telling your friends by inviting them to come and listen so we can make a difference this is all what I'm asking for. Make a comment. Share the link. Don't donate. Your money is not what we are seeking. We are seeking you to be a warrior for the truth. And the truth will set you free, the Lord said. For he said, I am the truth. And I am the way. And there is no way to the Father but by me. I am the life. I am the resurrection. Trump is just a tool. I am just a tool. But there's only one Savior. And always make it truly, truly for you. Your guideline is Jesus' teaching. Never vote for someone when I forbid the Bible in school. Never vote for someone when I do abortion, for this is against the Bible, for you are a murderer. Never vote for the thieves who say theft is okay if it's a small number. Theft is a theft. Thief is a thief. Rabist is a rabist. Name things by their description, not by political correctness. Everything the Democrats stand for is fake. And a true Christian, he cannot vote for fake ethic. Any ethic does not fit with the ethic of the Bible is not ethical. 
Anything is not biblical is not biblical. So don't fool yourself, says I am a Christian, but I'm voting Kamala. You are no Christian. You are voting for the devil, and the devil is your master. Thank you all. God bless you. God is good. So is Jesus. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly by insulting you for today. Take care.